We're talking a mad world of AI companies, rumors of a $100 billion Microsoft OpenAI collab, and a potential game-changing supercomputer named Stargate. OpenAI's new voice model? Mind-blowing, but it's locked up tight, sparking debates on AI ethics. Meanwhile, ChatGPT is now available without login. Apple's got Realm, a pocket AI to supercharge Siri. Musicians like Nicki Minaj are taking a stand against AI misuse, and an NBA game gets a hilarious twist thanks to an AI filter. Don't blink or you'll miss this AI-packed journey. Let's start with AI Landscape. This infographic illustrates the chaotic state of the AI landscape at present. It is labeled as the 2024 MAD Landscape, with MAD standing for machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data. The graphic demonstrates the overwhelming number of companies currently involved in this industry, focusing on larger corporations. Many smaller AI companies were not even included in this visualization. Overall, this image highlights the enormity of the sector and the significant number of companies now participating in it. So just last week, there was also a report released on Reuters that said Microsoft and OpenAI are planning for 100 billion data center projects. Now this information has not yet been confirmed by Microsoft or OpenAI. However, considering that Sam Allman mentioned needing $7 trillion to build a data center and the close relationship between OpenAI and Microsoft, there may be some truth to the rumors. Along with this data center, they are also planning to build an artificial intelligence supercomputer called Stargate. If this data center is constructed, it is expected to be 100 times more expensive than some of the largest existing data centers. Why is this important? Well, if you remember the articles that came out about tools like Sora, one of the things they showed in the Sora research was that video quality improved significantly by using more GPU and compute power to generate the videos. The same seems to apply to almost all AI models. The more compute power we throw at them, the more powerful, realistic, and helpful they can become. While this isn't 100% confirmed, if Microsoft and OpenAI team up to build this massive data center, it's difficult to believe that any other companies or open source models will be able to catch up to what OpenAI and Microsoft are doing. OpenAI voice model. OpenAI released a blog post at the end of this week titled, navigating the challenges and opportunities of synthetic voices. Essentially, OpenAI has developed its own voice model, similar to tools like Eleven Labs that can produce realistic voices from just a 15-second sample. The audio generated from this model is of higher quality than that of Eleven Labs, making it exceptionally good. But here is the issue. OpenAI released a blog post showcasing how cool their technology is, but then proceeded to say they do not trust it in the wrong hands. Therefore, they are not making it publicly available for use. Because of the existence of technology like this, they are now advocating for measures such as phasing out voice-based authentication for security purposes, exploring policies to safeguard the use of individuals' voices, educating the public on the potential of deceptive AI content, and advancing the development and adoption of techniques for tracing the origin of audiovisual content. Chat GPT for all. Also, in OpenAI news this week, you can now use ChatGPT without actually having to log in. If you're logged out and you go to chatgpt.com, comma, you can see that we have our familiar chat box and can use it right away without having to log in. However, it will not save any of your chats for later use and it lacks many other features. If you just want to ask a question quickly, you can use it without having to log in. YouTube addresses Sora. In the latest OpenAI news for this week, YouTube CEO Neil Mohan was asked about Sora being trained on YouTube videos. He stated that he was not sure if Sora was trained on YouTube videos, but if it was, it would go against YouTube's policies. If YouTube were to find out that Sora was trained on its videos, OpenAI could face more issues. Additionally, the creators of Sora on MKBHD's podcast refused to discuss the matter. Anthropic jailbreak. Now moving on to some anthropic news. Anthropic researchers are testing the boundaries of AI ethics by repeatedly questioning it. What they have discovered is that when they ask an AI bot to perform a harmful task, it will initially refuse. However, if the researchers ask a series of harmless questions before posing a harmful one, the AI will eventually comply. The reasons for this behavior are still unknown, but it seems to be occurring with large language models that have extensive context windows, such as Cloud's 200,000 token window. Attempts to address this issue by limiting the context window have shown that while it may prevent the AI from answering harmful questions, it also negatively impacts the model's overall performance. Right now, AI researchers are trying to find a balance of how to continue increasing the context windows without large language models providing potentially harmful information in those larger context windows. Apple introduces Realm. Apple seems to be further investing in artificial intelligence, as they recently unveiled Realm, 
which stands for reference resolution as language modeling. This language model is created to operate on a phone and enhance voice assistants like Siri by improving their comprehension of context and ambiguous references. A few weeks ago, there was speculation that Apple was going to use Gemini 1.5 as the language model behind Siri. However, with the unveiling of the Realm model and the research behind it, it is more likely that they will use this in-house developed model. This model is different from others as it is smaller and designed to work specifically on a phone to assist with phone-related tasks, such as scheduling and calendars, sending emails, and finding photos and albums. It is tailored to individual phone users' needs. Stable Audio 2.0. This week, AI, which lost their CEO, Ahead MTO last week, announced the release of Stable Audio 2.0. Stable Audio is an AI music generation platform similar to Google's music effects. When you give it a prompt, it generates a song in that style. Previously, it only generated roughly 30-second songs, but this new version can now generate three-minute songs. The other new feature is audio-to-audio -audio generation, where you can hum or make instrument sounds with your mouth, and then it will try to replicate that with AI. Musicians fighting against AI. This week, a group of musicians, including Nicki Minaj, Billie Eilish, Katy Perry and others signed a letter protesting irresponsible AI. The undersigned members of the artist and songwriting communities are calling on AI developers, technology companies, platforms, and digital music services to cease using artificial intelligence to infringe upon and devalue the rights of human artists. However, the signed letter goes on to say that they believe AI has enormous potential to advance human creativity responsibly enabling the development and growth of new and exciting experiences for music fans everywhere. At the very end, it says that the assault of human creativity must be stopped. We must protect against the predatory use of AI to steal professional artists' voices and likenesses, violate creators' rights, and destroy the music ecosystem. Hilarious NBA AI filter. Finally, during an NBA Pacers game, it was hilariously observed that a Snapchat filter was used to create the illusion that Lakers fans were crying. In the video, the camera displayed these individuals appearing to cry when in fact, an AI face filter had replaced their mouths with a crying expression instead of a happy one. And that is all we got for you today. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.